Hi everyone, my name is Mitch, and today we are doing Heavenly Cat. So, we're going to finish up Heavenly Cat today, and show you guys what I was playing around with. The first thing I broke out was the chocolate Derwent drawing pencil, and the chocolate Derwent drawing pencil is always handy for just getting a little bit of darks right here, because this is dark. But it's not like really, really dark. But I just want a hint of dark right along and through here. And right along here. Not a lot. We're going to be wax blooming this cat quite sufficiently today, I can tell you that. Alright, that looks real good. And then I wanted a little bit of darkness up here. Right there, and I like that. And uh, I adjusted the white balance, so it should be significantly better uh, as far as how it looks now compared to last time. So one thing that I did notice was we don't have a lot of darks like right up in here. So, and this is a fairly dark area once you get up through here, so we're just going to kind of go through and just tickle it a little bit. Not like massive changes or anything. And then across through here, we have this shaded area that we haven't really touched. And again, we're just going to wax bloom pretty much the whole thing at this point. And that's not really a, a bad thing. I mean, it sounds bad we're wax blooming it, but once you're done, once you wax bloom it, you kind of putting wax on top of your pastels so it will not go anywhere and it won't move. I know that sounds like a silly way to approach that, but it's true. I mean, you have wax that's sitting on top of your pastel at this point and it prevents the pastel from falling out or having any problems like that. So once it's behind a frame, you really don't have a lot of issues coming through there. So what I just want to do here is just get, just get some just get some hairs, some hair definition through here and through that. What you don't want is like, ur, 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 ur. you want you want some little little things in there that, that make it cool, just like this. So you're coming down through here, and the same with um, we're coming through with the Derwent drawing black. Same through here is you just press fairly hard, like right in a random section here and you make like a, a fairly dark area all of a sudden. So you have these not so dark areas, sort of light areas, and then you have this really dark area right here. You can do the same thing here, just like press fairly hard, and then suddenly you just have this dark area right there. And through here, I know we're coming up sorta into the little kitty beard there. And then again, you press harder right here and you have this interesting little dark area for no reason, just right there. And that gives it like, and that gives your eyes something to zoom in on and your eyes are like trying to figure out what's going on. It's kind of cool. And so through here, you know, we have a not too dark, we're pressing a lot lighter. Now they're messing around over here, but yeah, it's kind of like that. And then through here, now all of a sudden you have a couple of dark hairs for no reason. Through here, you have a couple of more dark hairs for no reason. Just pressing a little harder, not much. So that gives it that variety. And the same thing here when we come in with our Prismacolor alternative of the Stay Below generic pencil. Um, so we have like this hair. You see that hair right there? All of a sudden, you just have a hair that just pops out. Just like, wow, there it comes. What's it doing? So this is the sort of why you do colored pencil in the first place, right? You just want these random hairs here and there, everywhere, hair, that just come out and just um, just kind of pop in there. And so that, again, that gives it the 3D depth, right? That you kind of want at, the, at this stage. So, so now we're coming across through this area over here and we're just gonna give like a little like a little shine coming out of that window, it sort of makes it makes these hairs go over here, and as well as we don't want just just this light gray area. We want just some darks. So you have this occasional 
And don't make patterns. You just want this occasional dark section right here. It just kind of draws your eye. You're like, that's interesting. What is that? That's a Derwood Draw Pencil, man. That's what it is. I swear. So, um, you come up through here. And just hit that through there. That looks nice. Then come up through there. Through there. Okay, that looks good. So, again, we're just wax blooming this thing at this point. Um, and I want like a dark area right here. Again, just like this random weird dark area. Just like, what is that? That's interesting. And then we get our chocolate. And this is Derwent Darling chocolate. It's just a brown, obviously. Did I just say it's chocolate and it's just a brown? And everybody's like smacking their head. Dude, chocolate is a brown, you think? I thought it was yellow, man. You're really educating me today. So we're coming through here, we're going to press a little bit harder, not much, but just a little bit, like right there. Something interesting happening, just right there. I don't really know what it is. It's just something cool. And we have like this shaded area here. Not, not much, but just something interesting. So, uh, Trisha mentioned that uh, Peyton has lost a lot of weight and that I need to fatten Peyton up a little bit. So what we're going to do is feed Peyton a little bit of, um, of uh, pastel meow mix and get, get, some, get, some, get some girth here, no pun intended, and then have like a, a couple of hairs just come out for no reason. Just like these hairs all of a sudden, just like where did that even come from? I don't understand. I was looking at it. Also, there was just like a couple of hairs coming out of nowhere. Why? Why? And obviously, you don't overdo that. So that's looking pretty good. Let me move this up some. All right. Okay. So here, I want to get again this chocolate. And oops, that's not chocolate. Here I wanted to use the wrong pencil. So here I want to get the chocolate. And we have enough pink. I think we're good on the on the pinkish areas over here. So I'm just gonna come down through here and just bring down some of these hairs. So here we're just lacking some darks. So we're just gonna get this and come down into there. And so like from here we just have these random sections with hair. And again, what you don't want to do is you don't want to go from here and go, oh, 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 because it's just going to look like crap, because that's just not the way it looks. Like, you're going in the middle of this light section up here, and look, you just you just have this hair coming down through here, but it doesn't go all the way down. It just curves out, stops. You're like, whoa. And then down here, you have all this, suddenly you have this um, dark area kind of sneaking up out of that. And the dark area is coming up a little bit. And this one's coming way up. This one's not coming up so much. And then these are coming up pretty high. Like that. And then you have like a clump that's coming through there. And then again through here you have another clump. And just changing the direction and the length and all that other stuff. So, so it looks like you just have some interesting hairs coming up here. I'm going to get this dark black and just come up through here and just kind of... We're going to mix this with um, with some hairs coming down a little bit. Again, to get a black, I'm just going to press a little harder right there. All of a sudden, you just have this black area right there. No reason. Then through here, so you have this black area coming through here. And that actually touches almost right there. And then it sort of comes out a little bit here. And then we can get our orange pencil. All of a sudden we just have an orange. Right there. 
Like, wait a minute, your eyes like, what? Where did that even come from? It's just this orange. Because we have orange up here. Why can't we have like orange right here? You just have a little bit. Again, not a lot. All of a sudden there's just orange. And it's scattered throughout. So, it's like salt and pepper. You don't cover your meal with pepper. You just get a little bit, little hairs come through there. Like that. Got some hairs coming through there. Whoa! Stay, stay. Hairs coming through there. Got one hair coming through there. This is a pastel pencil, just pink. We just got hairs coming down through here. It's like all over. We're pressing kind of hard. Get that pastel area just through there. Cool. And then we're coming back up here with the chocolate. Just going to come in through here. It's not even sharp. I mean, that's dull. You don't need like a super sharp pencil. Everybody sharpens the Jesus out of their pencils, man. And we're not going to come all the way down with this. We're not going to like fill the paper on this side or that side. Just going to have it fade out because if, if your spectator is looking, it's like magic. If anyone has done magic, and I have done too much magic, it's like magic. So you're doing a card trick, right? You're moving this card to this spot and you don't want them to see it. So while you're doing that, you just kind of distract them. You know, because your main focus is going to be looking at your eyes and explaining something or whatever. So that's that's what you're going to do with magic. And it's the same type of thing here. You just want to, if, if, so in magic, let's say, hang on. So magic, you can see I have tricks on the thing. So magic, if you have a deck of cards, okay. You have a deck of cards and you have someone picking a card and then you're doing something sneaky with the cards. While you're doing something sneaky with the cards, you don't want them looking at it. Period. If they're looking at the cards, you did it wrong, right? So if you're doing a trick, you pick a card, they pick a card, they're signing it or whatever, and they put it back and you do the half pass or whatever you're gonna do. Um, if they're looking at the cards while you do the sneaky stuff, you did it wrong. And it's the same thing with art. Magic relates to art quite a bit. If in art, if the first thing your spectator is doing, and say spectator, because that's kind of what you call it in magic, if the first thing your spectator is doing is staring at the bottom of your painting down here, you have a problem. You have a big problem. You did something horribly wrong. So that's why you can get away with fading this stuff out. I'm doing cards terrible because I have pencils in my other hand. If you're like a magician and You've seen my magic review videos and making fun of my card work is because I have four pencils anyway. So, but you see what I mean? If, you, if you're doing, if the, if the spectator is looking down at the bottom of your painting instead of looking here, you did something horribly wrong. You made this section down here too bright. You, you did not um, do something correctly. So that's, that's the point. Nine hours later, I actually made my point, sort of. Again, this is not even sharp. We're just kind of messing around. If you have a non-sharp pencil, turn it to the side like that, and then it's sharp. Because you see on the edge, it's sharp there. So now you can make fine lines with it, right? So you don't have to sharpen your pencil all day. And again, we're just coming down through here using the edge, making her little sharp things. Getting a little shadow here. So it's Monday. How is everyone's Monday? Is your Monday all right? Is anyone watching? Probably not. Hello to my three people that follow me on YouTube. And VidMe. I'm on VidMe. Thank you for the seven people that actually visit the VidMe site and actually following me. Okay, no, it's actually like I think 25 now. All right, we have some black here, come down through there. We have some just hairs right through here. All right, but again, you just want to get some detail down here without 
sitting here all day. What you don't want to do is you don't want to just spend an excruciating amount of time on this and it's super, super detailed. And they look immediately down to here. Okay, so now we have our super pencil. This is the Stabilo generic marking pencil and that is good for making these colored pencil waxy lines. And this is what I want right here. Because if you look at the photo, you have these interesting lines like right there. I don't want to press too hard and make really strong lines. I just want to make little hints of lines down through here that are more prominent. That's going to give me a nice, nice something to look at down there. And you don't want to put any in the black. You're going to put some right here as you're coming out of the black right there. Like that. Maybe one there. A couple there. Okay, so that looks really nice. <laughs> I'm looking at the the preview, and that looks dead on. Um, what I could use is uh, just a little pink highlight here. I'm not going to press too hard with this pink. I just want just want some pink color down here. If that makes any sense. I know it's supposed to be dark. Yes, I know. I know it's supposed to be dark. Just want something interesting down there. All right. Then reinforce the darkness with this. Go around. Just want to get the dark filled in there. Okay, again, the last thing you want to do is get something really, 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 really dark. I do have a soft pastel that is pitch black and if I put it here the minute the spectator looks they're gonna go whoop <gasps> dark and you don't want to do that you want this to match this okay so these and these like a these and like a these is even and that makes for a nice painting you don't want to grind black in there to where your eye immediately goes there. So when I look, I look at the eyes and I'm straight in the eyes. I like it. I like it. And this looks a little dark in the video. It looks a little, eh, it looks all right in the YouTube video. It looks dark in the stream, but whatever. Trust me, it's not that dark. I swear it's to use a couple of little marks here. And then, and then over here we have like a gray. So what I want to do is get the 199 which is our black and I'm just gonna press a little bit just want to get a gray just something interesting through here just something interesting because it's not supposed to be all black through there all white through there so you can see in the picture it just has this interesting gray down through here and again don't spend a lot of time on it you can if you want to you know if you want to spend 30 hours on this. God bless you. I support you. I got stuff to do. There's a raid tonight. Alright, All right, cool. And this is gray. Again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. I'm just going to get some of this. This is a little darker here. Alright, that looks alright. Again, I don't want my spectator looking down through here. Okay, um, I like that. I like it a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. I like it a lot. So, um, I want to get something in the window, but I don't want to get a lot of time on that either. Because I know that, again, I don't want them staring at the window. So I have a blue colored pencil. Just going to just smooge that thing right here. Not a lot. Just occasional smooge of the blue colored pencil.
All right. So you have a hint of blue, but it doesn't like go swack and swack it upside the head. So in the picture, it has some white dots in here. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Let me try one. White dots, like right here, you got this white dot. Pressing really, really, really light. I like that, it's like a highlight on the blue. It's not too bad. Again, you don't wanna make that wider. Their eye's gonna go straight there. And you have failed the magic trick, my friends. You have not fooled anybody with your half pass. You have not fooled anybody with the side steel nor whatever Daniel Garcia movie has this month. All right. mm, I like that, looks pretty good. Want to get a little highlight right through here to get, yeah, because this comes out like that on all the ones except for this one. So that one makes that one look weird. Um, and then make this one come up a little bit like that. All right, cool, I like it. Um, and then maybe a little highlight across the edge. Like not a lot, just a little. Just enough so your eyes are like, what, what, yeah, what's that? All right, pressing medium here just to get something there. All right, cool, I like it because it has a nice feel to it as you come across there. Straighten this out a little bit. I'm OCD, sorry guys. Uh, that out, straighten that out, straighten this out a little. All right, cool. So when it's framed, this is gonna cut off like that much, and this is gonna cut off like this much, so I'm not too concerned about that. Um, so in general, I have my highlights here and there. I have that, and I'm looking at the thumbnail, and I'm making my paper go wonky. Okay, so I'm looking at the thumbnail, and I really like this. This looks really nice. So I have the darks there, and I know this is light pink, but right here I would not mind a little bit of that. A little bit of that. So that looks pretty good. Anything else I'm missing? Okay, here, here. Well, oh, the whiskers. No, I just thought of that. Okay, let me get a sharp pencil, and we'll do whiskers, and we'll be done with heavenly cat. How much time I got on the video? I got eight, seven minutes. All right, you ready for whisker time? Nothing says a good painting like messing it up at the last minute with a whisker. Here we go, guys. Here we go, guys. I'm literally, I'm gonna hold my breath on this one. What is this? I got a fragment coming off there. Okay. All right, I got my super pencil. Come on, super pencil, don't fail me, man. I like it. I like it. Looks good. Sorry if I'm quiet, I'm nervous. Joan, I need you, I'm gonna mess this up. Okay, uh, come through here. Come across through here. Wow, I wax bloom that where I can't see the freaking whisker. All right, come through here like that. Okay. That looks weird. It's a crooked whisker, man. 
All right, let's cook it now. And we have this one. It goes way over there. And then it goes over there. All right, I'm looking at it. And I like it. I like it. Yeah, uh, there. I like that. And we have one strong one here. Just for the heck of it. Like that. Okay, cool. So, we do need some more whites. I'd say, like, right through here. And some. No, I don't need the darks. Could use. that and I changed my mind So, short stream, pretty happy with it, looking at it on the monitor looks good, looking at it on the camera looks good, so we're going to call Heavenly Cat done and sign it with the Derwent drawing black. Where should I sign it? I guess down here at the bottom. Alright, looks good. Thank you guys for joining me. Hope you have a great evening.